funding, he requires no financing, he requires no urging. It's a commitment he gave. And he also gave it to me. Right. With my wife and my children. When he asked me to be his running mate, I sat with him and my wife and my children and we asked him, we have seen what you have gone through. If our father becomes your deputy, will he be taken through what you are taken through? And he gave us as a family a very firm commitment that that will never happen. I'm asking President William Ruto, my boss, please keep your promise to the people of Kenya. Stop those people who are abusing your deputy. Stop those ministers who are demeaning your deputy. Don't allow the criminal justice system to harass and intimidate your deputy the way you are intimidated. If you cannot keep the other promises to the people of Kenya, at least this one, is a very simple promise. Be a good man. Be a good Christian. Keep that promise, President William Ruto, because that is a commitment you give to the people of Kenya, and you give me that promise in front of my wife and children that you will never allow anybody to demean me, to disrespect me, to harass me, to persecute me, to intimidate me, to coerce me. That is a commitment that you give. I ask you, Mr. President, keep that commitment. Are you frustrated? I'm not. I am, uh, let me tell you, son, you don't know me. Many people don't understand Rigat Gashagua. Rigat Gashagua is a seasoned leader who has seen many ups and downs. I underwent hell in the last administration to support President William Ruto. Cases were fabricated against me for studying with President William Ruto. My wealth was confiscated for studying with William Ruto. But I'm a very, very, very principled man. I stood with him to the last man. I never expected this to happen. You know, my family is devastated. You know, that this can be happening to their father. A man who went out of his way to start with President William Ruto and make sure he's elected president and took the flag for it. And I say, even if there's a jinx around this position, at least President William Ruto was allowed to do his work for five years without interruption, without harassment, for five years. I've only done one year. And what is happening to me is worse than what happened to President William Ruto. I asked President William Ruto, please allow me to work. Allow me to work for the remaining three years. Let me serve the people of Kenya. Okay. Let me serve the people of Kenya and keep your promise. Keep your promise, Mr. President so that you can win the trust of the people of Kenya as an honest person, as a person who keeps his promise. What is happening is not right. It doesn't augur well, and it has, to a great extent, eroded the trust of the people of Kenya in your leadership. Please, Mr. President, I am here willing to work, to serve you with the dedication, to serve the people of Kenya, to support you the way 